Intro. Greetings, Sky Watchers. Can you imagine trusting such an image? One so grand that it casts shadows on Earth, visible even without any effort to conceal it? This is the kind of spectacular event we might soon witness, centered around the Orion constellation. The star Betelgeuse has been behaving strangely, hinting at an impending cosmic explosion, a burst of energy that could brighten our skies like never before. But when exactly will Betelgeuse explode in a supernova, and what will it look like according to scientists? What secrets could this celestial event unveil? Join us as we explore the fascinating nature of Betelgeuse and the possible effects this cosmic occurrence may have on Earth and even the entire solar system. Overview Betelgeuse, located roughly 650 light-years away in the Orion constellation, is far from being an ordinary star. It's a red supergiant, one of the most luminous stars known to humankind, radiating brightness more than 100,000 times that of our sun. But why does this particular star capture our attention? Apart from its incredible luminosity, Betelgeuse stands out due to its historical significance and its importance in human culture. Its name comes from the Arabic phrase Yad Alza, meaning the hand of Orion. For centuries, this star has been observed and recorded by ancient civilizations, serving as a guiding light for travelers and a symbol of awe for stargazers. Its distinct red hue sets it apart from the other stars in the Orion constellation. Imagine for a moment a single star so immense that it dominates our entire solar system. If Betelgeuse were to replace our sun, its outer edges would extend all the way to Jupiter. How does a star achieve such colossal dimensions at just 10 million years old? It's significantly younger than our 5 billion year old sun, but its immense size means it burns through its fuel at a far quicker rate. As a result, it has a much shorter lifespan than other stars of its type. This divine behemoth, capable of occupying a space large enough to fit over a billion suns, is now reaching the final stages of its life cycle. When massive stars like Betelgeuse approach the end of their lives, they don't quietly fade away. They end with a cataclysmic bang, a supernova. This extraordinary explosion will release an unfathomable amount of energy and light, potentially brighter than anything we've ever witnessed. The last supernova visible from Earth occurred in 1604, long before modern telescopes were developed. Known as the Kepler supernova, it was the last supernova observed in our Milky Way galaxy with the naked eye, shining brighter than any other star in the night sky and remaining visible during the day for several weeks. What cosmic secrets could remnants of such an event reveal to us? Ancient records from civilizations across the globe, including Chinese and European astronomers, documented this mysterious new star. Even now, the expanding debris cloud from the explosion can still be detected, providing us with valuable insights into the violent ends of massive stars. Supernovae are rare occurrences. Imagine a celestial explosion so brilliant that it rivals the brightness of the full moon, casting shadows across Earth during the night and even visible in daylight. The radiation emitted by such an event could charge our atmosphere, possibly interfering with satellites and even influencing Earth's climate. Betelgeuse, with its erratic dimming patterns, suggests that it might soon be ready to deliver such a spectacular show. Could we be on the verge of witnessing one of the universe's most breathtaking events? Between October 2019 and mid-2023, Betelgeuse underwent a remarkable transformation that caught the attention of astronomers and stargazing enthusiasts worldwide. Known as the Great Dimming, Betelgeuse's brightness, which had remained stable for centuries, began to diminish dramatically. This sudden change was so noticeable that even casual observers saw it, especially when comparing it to the other stars in the Orion constellation. This suggests that we may not be centuries away from Betelgeuse's supernova, but perhaps just a few decades or even sooner. By April 2023, observations indicated that Betelgeuse had returned to its regular brightness, leading many to believe that the period of dimming had come to an end. Yet, in an unexpected twist, the following months saw Betelgeuse's brightness increase by 50%, sparking even more speculation about its future. Such dramatic fluctuations, though common for variable stars, were surprising for Betelgeuse, which had previously followed a predictable brightness cycle. The sudden surge in its brightness brought the star back into the spotlight, reigniting discussions about its fate. 
What caused this sudden change in brightness? Why did Betelgeuse, one of the most recognized stars in the sky, suddenly throw this celestial curveball? Stars are not merely twinkling dots in the sky. They are dynamic, living entities with their own life cycles, activities, and mysteries. Some stars experience periodic brightness variations, much like the changing seasons on Earth. For most of its celestial life, Betelgeuse has followed a fairly consistent 400-day luminosity cycle. However, the recent darkening defied its established behavior, forcing us to reconsider our understanding of these cosmic phenomena. Supernova. So, are we on the brink of witnessing a cosmic revelation? While the exact causes of Betelgeuse's irregularities are still under study, one compelling theory has emerged. This theory, focused on celestial activity and mass ejections, proposes that Betelgeuse could be expelling vast amounts of its material into space, much like a colossal celestial volcano. Previous observations using the Hubble Space Telescope have shown that Betelgeuse recently released a significant portion of its surface material. This release, equivalent to several times the mass of our moon, was 400 billion times the mass typically ejected during similar stellar events. Such mass expulsions can create a thick dust cloud around the star, blocking some of its light and making it harder to observe. Once this dust cloud disperses or is pushed away by the star's radiation pressure, the star's brightness returns to normal. This could explain why Betelgeuse regained its former brightness. Whatever the cause, these events suggest that Betelgeuse is far from finished astounding us. Many astronomers believe that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, and a supernova is imminent. A supernova, an enormous burst of energy capable of illuminating entire galaxies, occurs when there is a sudden shift in a star's core. This shift may result from a star absorbing too much material from a neighboring star or, as in Betelgeuse's case, the depletion of its nuclear fuel, which causes a collapse. This collapse leads to the violent explosion of a supernova. What drives a massive star like Betelgeuse toward its inevitable end? Stars like Betelgeuse begin by consuming hydrogen in their cores, a process that lasts millions of years and defines the early stages of a star's life. But when hydrogen runs out, the star begins to burn helium, forming carbon and oxygen. This marks the transition into the red giant phase. As the star continues to burn heavier elements, it expands with each stage marked by the fusion of progressively heavier elements. The more massive the star, the faster these transitions occur, owing to the immense gravitational pressures. Eventually, the star's core starts producing iron, an element that doesn't release energy when fused. This lack of energy is insufficient to counterbalance the star's crushing gravity, causing the star to inflate. When this inflation reaches a critical point, the star collapses, resulting in the cataclysmic explosion of a supernova. Is Betelgeuse on the edge of this violent end? or is it simply biding its time? According to recent research from Japan's Tohoku University, the star may be in the midst of its carbon-burning phase. Scientists at Tohoku suggest that Betelgeuse's core could collapse within years once its carbon supply is exhausted. However, other researchers, including those from Hungary's Konkali Observatory, argue that the star may still be in its earlier helium-burning phase. Regardless of these debates, one fact is certain. Betelgeuse is destined to be the next supernova in our Milky Way. Yet pinpointing the exact timing of this event remains an elusive task, with estimates ranging from mere decades to over 100,000 years to AS. We continue to observe Betelgeuse's erratic behavior. Astronomers are constantly refining their understanding of these cosmic phenomena. The great dimming and sudden brightness surges are providing valuable data, offering a glimpse into the complex dynamics of massive stars nearing their end. It's a reminder of the profound unpredictability that exists even in the most studied celestial bodies. The study of stars like Betelgeuse is not only about predicting the timing of a supernova but also understanding the processes at play within stellar interiors. When stars of this size exhaust their nuclear fuel, the collapse of their core is an event of unimaginable magnitude. The intense gravitational forces that cause the collapse also trigger the nuclear reactions responsible for the supernova explosion. This violent event will scatter heavy elements into space, enriching the surrounding interstellar medium with material 
that could potentially contribute to the formation of new stars and planets. This process is not unique to Betelgeuse. Many other massive stars, though their names may not be as well known, will eventually meet similar fates. In fact, the heavy elements produced in these supernovae are crucial to the formation of planets like Earth and the life forms that inhabit them. Without these stellar explosions, our very existence might not have been possible. In the grand scheme of the universe, Betelgeuse's eventual demise will be just another chapter in the ongoing cycle of stellar birth, life, and death. Yet, for humanity, it represents a unique opportunity to witness the life cycle of a star from its final days to its explosive end. As we look up at the night sky, this awareness invites us to consider the fleeting nature of existence and the constant changes occurring in the universe, some of which we may never fully understand. Ultimately, whether we witness the explosion directly or not, the memory of Betelgeuse's brilliance will live on, serving as a lasting reminder of the cosmic forces that continue to shape the universe. Conclusion. Amid these scientific debates and speculations, one crucial aspect remains clear. Our observations of Betelgeuse offer us a unique view into the very nature of time and light. Because stars and galaxies are so far away, their light takes an immense amount of time to reach us. For instance, when we observe Betelgeuse, we are actually seeing light that left the star 650 years ago. This means that when we look at the sky, we are always observing the past not the present. If Betelgeuse were to explode in a supernova, the light from that event may not reach us for centuries or even millennia. Some even wonder whether Betelgeuse has already gone supernova and we are simply waiting for the light to arrive. This paradox highlights the profound complexity and beauty of the universe. What makes this so remarkable is the deep connection between the history of humanity and these extraordinary cosmic events. When Betelgeuse does finally reach the end of its life, we won't just be witnessing the death of a star. We'll be experiencing a moment that links us back to ancient times when humanity first looked up at the stars in awe. And in that moment, we will understand more profoundly our place in the cosmos. As we await Betelgeuse's inevitable supernova, we are reminded of the fleeting nature of the stars that brighten our night skies. Just as our sun will one day meet its end, so too will this brilliant red giant. However, Unlike the quiet death of our sun, Betelgeuse's explosive finale promises to be a spectacular event. The energy released by such an explosion could potentially trigger a chain of events, sending shock waves through space and possibly affecting nearby celestial bodies. While the supernova might disrupt satellite communications or produce radiation capable of impacting life on Earth, scientists agree that the chances of such an event causing catastrophic consequences for our planet are exceedingly low. At a distance of 650 light years, the blast would have only a minimal effect on Earth, unlikely to directly harm life as we know it. Nonetheless, the very possibility that we could witness a star's explosive demise is profound. It serves as a reminder that the universe is constantly changing, with even the brightest stars eventually following the same natural cycles of birth, life, and death. The prospect of witnessing Betelgeuse's supernova during our lifetime offers an unparalleled glimpse into the sheer scale and power of the universe. It's a humbling reminder that we are part of something far greater than ourselves, a dynamic cosmos that continues to evolve in ways we can only begin to understand. While the immediate impact of Betelgeuse's eventual supernova on Earth is unlikely to be catastrophic, the event itself is undeniably significant. It would mark a pivotal moment in the history of our universe showcasing the immense forces at work in the cosmos. For those of us on Earth, witnessing such a rare phenomenon would be a profound reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of space. The timing of Betelgeuse's death, however, remains a mystery. The stars we observe today are not in the present but in the past, with their light taking years, decades, or even centuries to reach us. This concept of looking back in time means that even if Betelgeuse has already gone supernova, we might not see the explosion for centuries. In fact, it's even possible that the supernova has already occurred, and we are merely waiting for the light from that event to reach us. This paradox, where the past and future of the universe intersect in our observations, adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of space and time. For now, we continue to study Betelgeuse 
fascinated by the unpredictable nature of the star and its dimming behavior. The mystery of whether it will soon become a supernova or if we are witnessing the final stage of its life cycle will continue to drive scientific curiosity and exploration for years to come. Whether we're observing a star nearing its explosive end or simply catching glimpses of a celestial body undergoing normal changes. One thing is clear. The universe is constantly unfolding, revealing its wonders and complexities. In the end, Betelgeuse's death will not only be a cosmic spectacle, but it will also bring new insights into the nature of stars, their evolution, and the forces that shape them. It will offer us a deeper understanding of our own place in the vastness of space, showing us that even the most magnificent stars are bound by the same cycle of birth, life, and death that governs everything in the universe. As we look up at the night sky, we can't help but feel a sense of awe at the mysteries that still lie ahead. Betelgeuse, with its eventual supernova, is just one chapter in the ongoing story of the cosmos, and even though we may never witness such an event directly, the knowledge that it could occur during our lifetimes offers a powerful reminder of the transient beauty of the universe.